It has been a rather eventful week in Nigeria, from the Attorney General of the Federation suggesting an agency for cow affairs to the same man being a relative of a level 13 officer being recommended as CEO of EFCC to the Defense Minister asking us to arrange our security individually. It's been a celebration of mediocrity all the way, but for the cherry news of Ngozi Okonjo-Iweala becoming the head of the World Trade Organization. And now, here is my Be Like Ngozi Okonjo-Iweala challenge. How do I look? <laughs> Recently, five northern governors visited Governor Makindi of Oyo State regarding the Shasha market crisis. The visit has been analyzed from different perspectives. I look at the breach of protocols during that visit and its implication in what I title the five governors and the breach of protocols. Now, being a chief executive of a state is different from being a, an executive director of a conglomerate. The present corp of governors in Nigeria and their minders must understand that, because looking at the Shasha scenario, it's either that our new generation governors don't care about protocols, or do not care about protocols, or their minders are ignorant of their responsibilities. Now, let's relieve the breaches of protocols. First, after the unfortunate incident, Governor Makinde should have summoned the Seriki Shasha, who is supposedly under the jurisdiction of the Bale of Shasha. Both of them are under the authority of the Olubado of Ibado. Yes, the Olubado, who installed him, was not invited nor visited. Therefore, undermining the Olubadon as a king and paramount ruler of Ibadan land. Shouldn't the meeting have held in the only palace recognized by the law? The traditional hierarchical authority and customary law was breached. The second breach. The visiting governors ought not to have been waiting for the Serike Shasha to receive them. He ought to have been outside on his feet waiting to usher them in. An advanced team of protocol and security officers ought to have gone ahead to ensure that the host was ready and that the vicinity was secure enough for the governors. It is auspicious for the governor of a state to visit an individual. And then when five governors visit collectively, one would expect a certain level of trepidation and honor, respect, esteem from the host. Alas, this was not the case. Shall we attribute this disrespect to African time? arrogance, or lack of awareness? And why was the Seriki prioritized above the Bali of Shasha in this visitation? Third breach of protocol. The governors stood up as the Seriki Shasha entered. Intriguing. How come a subject, a community leader, commanded such authority from a combination of five excellencies, executive governors of the Federal Republic, is subject to the local government, which is under the management of the state government. What's infradignitete? Do they understand the symbolism of what they did? They deferred to him. Moving on. So the governor's offered to repair the Shasha market and conveniently avoided visiting or offering to rebuild the Gongon. But I digress. In the hierarchy of the administration of a governor's office, the chief of staff and his deputy oversee the welfare, the public persona, and the perception management of the governor. There is essentially a director of protocols who has a retinue of protocol staff. So I blame the collapse of protocols on Governor Makinde's chief of staff and the director of protocols. There was certainly no political intelligence in the handling of that visit, and so the five governors were ridiculed. You see, governance is degenerating to an all-time low in Nigeria. The management of protocols is a technical space that demands thoroughly knowledgeable personnel with key skills and relevant competencies. It is not a place to dump political appointees or reward party loyalists. I therefore advocate for training for protocol officers across the state of the Federation and the incorporation of experienced former chiefs of staff in that training, our governors must display courage and administrative skills. They must also uphold the dignity of our political and traditional institutions and actors. What happened was an eyesore.
should never happen again. Nigeria, and this thing you have said is an indignated. That was a you you have said quite a lot, um, um, and um, somebody among the governors uh, convoy will uh, or entourage will ask you who protocol help oh. uh, that uh, they had to visit the scene of crime mm. or the. Uh, scene of uh, the event, and that uh, if they had to visit all the traditional rulers, you know. So this is how we miss it, and we create a narrative, you know, or we create another problem when we're trying to solve one. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It was a clash between communities. So one would have expected that, you know, you visit boats, and mm -hmm. like we say in law, here the other side, here all side. But when you now go visit the Seriki, and then you leave the Bale, and plan you have, to visit him differently, you are creating, you know, another problem. Another thing I see is, I mean, it's between just like you said, two communities. You have the Yoruba community, you have the Hausa community. If you are supposed to see the head of this community and the head of that community, you not go see this one, you carry out, go see this one. It makes this person look less important. It yeah. makes whatever grievance right. they have less important. It, it means this person can do anything and get away with whatever it is yeah. that, that yeah. they did. Which is why, like she was saying, they enter, he entered and everybody stood up. Imagine. Mm. He wasn't even there waiting to receive them. He wasn't even there <laughs> waiting got to there. receive them. Um, you know, so and that's Shouldn't why. Shouldn't it have been a town hall meeting where everybody's waiting for the government? No, you can choose to see them Differently. privately, okay. and then you now call for a town hall meeting after hearing them individually. Okay. Um, but the yeah. five excellencies stood up. The five excellencies were waiting. And they, they were, were waiting. Does it mean him. that he's bigger than five of them? <laughs> exactly together. the point. Thanks, Medu. I, 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 I think there are some other sensitivities that were in that mix. And those sensitivities are along the line of where the casualties rested. Mm. Um, there was a clash indeed, um, but then it was, um, it, it was killed in a way. So it's, it's more or less as if um, a placation, we have come to placate all the same. Or commissary. Where you, you know, yeah, so, yeah so, both. Sort of, both, both in a way. But all the same, the fact that. Um, there is the, there's an oba in that place. Even the oba and then the ballet of Shasha could have been part of everything that they want to do. They're Not just that you... Yeah, yeah. yeah it should have been. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So but men it, fences. Men fences. But you know the, so the, when the, you just the go, oba you know, is not supposed to leave his let's, palace. Let's reverse it. No, the ballet. Let's reverse these rules. Imagine five governors from the south west. Yeah going to Kano, mm. and um, you have the Emir of Kano, but rather they choose to visit um, the ballet of the Yoruba community. Mm. You know, these are sensitive issues yeah. that yeah. Yeah. you true. should be very, very we careful, be when, careful you, handle when you handle like it. And so that it does not snowball in, into, you know, Treasure other mentioned issues. something very pivotal, which is that when you are appointing, you know, party, people into, you know, sensitive positions. It, it should be about competences, not that, oh, this person worked for our party. Nah, 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 he will advocate. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I <laughs> but that, but it's, it's normal. It's normal. Because it's normal. It, no, ah, this person has <laughs> been Regardless very, very... of skills. <laughs> but you know, but which why is we, why we're seeing this gap. Which is why I think we're... They can be obskilled. <laughs> see, eh, the truth <laughs> is... Then upskill them in good time, I will so say, they don't I, embarrass See, see the thing you just mentioned. We are all deceiving ourselves in this country, yeah. to be quite honest with you. We know that is how they reward. Uh, oh, I know this person, he don't say, just Nedu. buy something. Yeah. That's what it is. Nedu. That's what it is. Is Nigeria working for you? Ah, me, Nick Paro, he's not working for me. Oh. All right. I am certain that the only thing that connects us is food. <laughs> and maybe soccer, football. Well, so most people already know that we are what we eat. But why is Bolahon choosing to talk about it today? Let's find out after this break.